everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I have a beauty haul for everyone, as you can see from the title, and I'm pretty excited to share this with you, and I have a hair on my lip. Great. Really excited to share this stuff with you, and also the light fucking sucks today, so I'm sorry, like I said just now, like it was dark and now I'm super bright. Um, hopefully that will die down a little bit, but yeah, I'm really excited to share everything with you. Let's go ahead and jump in. Most of it is like drugstore, and then I did get a couple things from Sephora, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. So I'll go ahead and start with Sephora, because that I think is the least amount of things that I purchased. I just got two things. The first is the infamous Lolita Kat Von D liquid lipstick, and I can truly say that I am totally obsessed with this like everyone else. Literally the most gorgeous, dusky, kind of plummy, pink, mm, like rosy color. It's so nice and gorgeous and it's just like such a nice lip. So what I was wearing in my last video, um, I know some people were asking like for a tutorial or something. I really want to film a fall tutorial with this because I think it's the perfect fall lip. This is a little pricey but I definitely think it's worth it and this will last you probably for the rest of your life. I highly recommend Lolita if you can get your hands on it. The next thing I purchased was a a Sephora 24 hour colorful eyeliner and this is waterproof that was hard to say this is in the color number 19 it bag which just sounds like a super weird name for a liner but I basically only got this because this was $20 this was on sale for $5 and I wanted to get like a free um, beauty insider reward perk when you like you know when you spend $25 or more you get like a free thing that's why I picked this up but I really like it it's a super nice bronzy color and it's really pretty and I think these eyeliners Liners are really great they do really last um, they're, I don't know if they're waterproof but they're very water resistant and they last for a long time on me so check them out if you haven't already I think they're pretty next I have a couple Milani things to share with you guys and I basically went on the hunt for the Amore or is it Amore? Amore? The matte lip creams that they have basically. Two weeks ago I believe it was all Milani products at CVS all their lip products were three dollars so I basically scoured I think six or seven CVS's yes I'm that hardcore to look for these liquid lipsticks. I couldn't find any I didn't even find a single display on the way I did buy some lipsticks that I've been wanting to pick up from Milani also and a lip liner so let's go ahead and show them why am I rambling. I picked up two of the matte lipsticks in matte flirty number 71 and matte love number 71 out of the six or seven stores that I went to, these were the only products that I could find um, that I was actually looking for. Literally the entire section, like not just the matte lipsticks, not the cream lipsticks, not the lip liners, but not, you know, not the lip glosses, but literally everything was cleared out. It was insane. And I finally also found um, Spice, which is the lip pencil from Milani that I've been wanting forever. Super gorgeous color. Um, I'll insert some swatches here of all three of these so you guys can see how they look, but they're pretty nice. Um, very bold color and I love Milani lip products they're awesome it was nice to be able to get these for only nine dollars total also so while I was like looking around for all of those CVS's and just like basically going where my GPS told me to go I came across a Walgreens and I popped in there I'm definitely like an avid collection hunter and like limited edition product junkie um, so I've been looking for the limited edition wet n wild fall 2015 products and I did happen upon them so that was really exciting they have um, I think six lipsticks like they're um, their matte finish lipsticks and I found four of them the other two were sold out and um the other two that I found out of the four were like a bright fuchsia and kind of an orange red, I believe. So I only picked out the two that I've really been wanting, and this was great because these were the two that I wanted the most from the collection. This is Photo Bomb right here, and then the other one is Nightcap, and I will do a close-up and swatches for you guys. And these are these super nice, like satin kind of narzy packaging on the bottom, and this is great. These are so nice colors for fall, they're really gorgeous. And while I was there, there was a super awesome, like very helpful Walgreens um, beauty, like lady you know the ones that work in the little beauty area and she was helping me just we were kind of talking and apparently all the lipsticks were buy one get one half off so I kind of got talked into buying two more lipsticks but these were each a dollar so that's great and I got this color which is cinnamon spice which is a really nice rich kind of red and then mochalicious which is a deeper kind of brown toned color but I was super, super happy to find these. You guys don't know the struggle, or if you do, if you're like a limited edition hunter like me, you know the struggle of trying to find a lipstick and you finally find it. It's like the best feeling in the world. So that's it for all my Wet n Wild stuff. And lastly, I do have a pretty big ColourPop order to show you guys. I ordered a decent amount from their fall collection and that's what I'm gonna haul for you guys. I'm very excited for their fall collection. I think all the shades they came out with are gorgeous. The first thing from ColourPop I will share is not from their fall collection. This is the only thing. And this is the matte 
matte, um, ultra matte lipstick, ultra matte lip. I don't still really know what they're called, but this is in Beeper. And it's a really nice kind of dusky, nudie pink, you know, very on trend currently. And everything else is from the fall collection. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I got from there. I'll go ahead and start with the lippies because I only got three of those. I got two lippy sticks and one lippy pencil. The lippy stick and pencil duo I got is grunge, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I am so obsessed. This is the greatest combo ever. I mean, they're the same color, so the greatest color ever. Just a really nice warm brown. It's perfect for the name, very grungy, and it's perfect for fall. I'm obsessed with this color. And the other one I got is Poison, and this is like a darky kind of red shade. Super pretty. I actually kind of should have worn this with my shirt today, probably, but whatever. Very pretty. I'm obsessed with this as well, and both of these are matte finishes, which is amazing. I love ColourPop mattes. So excited for these for the fall. Can't wait to rock. And lastly, I did pick up five of the Super Shock Let's try that again. Lastly, I picked up five of the Super Shock Shadows, and these are all from the Fall Collection, like I said. So the first shadow I got is Party Time. The next one I picked up is Mixed Tape. Then I have Boy Band, Central Perk, and finally Girl Power. I think these shadows are all great with the exception of Central Perk. That is the one that's given me the most trouble. It's a super gorgeous, plummy, kind of like reddy brown, but it's like not awesome to work with. I think it's really patchy and kind of drier than everyone else. But other than that, I think these shadows are all gorgeous, amazing fall shades. And I just love ColourPop, so you really can't go wrong with any of their shadows. They're all gorgeous, so inexpensive, and I am obsessed. That's it for my beauty haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know if you like any of them. Let me know if you want to try any of them. Please keep me posted on what's going on in your life. I love talking to you guys. Let me know what you've been up to, how's school going, how's work going if you're not in school. Sorry for not being as consistent as I would like to be in my posting schedule. I am so swamped with school. Um, after this, I'm going to go work on a project like all day. So very busy, but um, I'm trying to find time when I can to film. So I hope you guys understand. And leave any video requests in the down bar. I want to film a fall tutorial, um, a makeup tutorial soon, and still fucking trying to work on that summer lookbook. I guess that's it. So let me know what's been up with you guys. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Love you. Bye.